So talk to you have all already mentioned them a little bit, but you know talk about this phenomenal cast again. I mean, you mentioned Daniel Roback, you're a Rebecca Kennedy, uh, legend Felissa Rose, Alan Ruck. Like, talk a yeah. little bit about this cast some more. Uh, Danny, I called and he said, I want to do it. Of course, of course. Right. And I said, well, I don't want to mess with your time. I know you're busy. How about just you know do a part that's only a day, a day or two? He goes, absolutely not. And I go, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, he goes, absolutely not. I want to do one day. He goes, I want to work with you as much as possible. Write me the biggest part possible. Alan Rugg, with sight unseen, goes, yeah, I'll do it. No worries. Just like, He found out about his character by reading the article about him in it. <laughs> he goes, oh, is that in my play? Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> and because these are friends of mine that trust me, you know? Right. Um, right. Felissa Rose was, uh, I mean, I was obsessed with Sleepaway Camp. Just right. like I didn't know the whole world was until Facebook came out, and you go, "Wait, we're not alone." <laughs> um, and funny story. Funny story about Felissa Rose. She is so. I mean, you know this. She's so yeah. busy. We have yeah. had her. We've had her booked on this show four different times. Yeah, she's had to, she's had to cancel because of something yeah. coming up. Like, I yeah, love she's to talk to her. she's, she's great. always busy. Yeah, she's got her. You know, she's a hustler. I've never seen anyone hustle like her. Yes, um, so. She's, she's a powerhouse. And uh, she, you know, when, when I got her to, to do the part, I'd written it for her. Um, but I would say for her, fearless, just utterly fearless. I, I can't wait for you to see what she does in this. It's so awesome. Um, Shantae Delon, who was on Detroiters, um, and also when I wish you would leave the sketch show, many other things. We met on a movie and uh, I just loved her, thought she was great. And she's just a she's just a pro at creating characters. Another person who came in with amazing costumes, amazing, you know, um, uh, amazing takes, hairdos. Like they would. I go, what are you thinking? She goes, this, and I go, I love uh, insane. I love it. I love right. it. Um, and then uh, who else is up there? Oh, Ricky Dean Logan. He was. He. he you'll see him. He, he plays like more of a mob guy and. He knows that world from different parts he's played and guys he knows from his own hood. And he said, look, man, can I rewrite this a little bit to give you the, to make it more truthful? And he goes, you don't have to take it. Gave it to him and, and he made it 10 times better. The scene 10 times better. And he explained exactly why, you know, he was supposed to be, oh, I'm in love with this woman I wanna marry. He goes, no mobster would ever say that. They have their wife. She's the side piece. She's the gumal. You know what I mean? Like, right. so he made it very, very specific for that. You know, so um, that was uh, that was really great. Um, so yeah, it was. And Alan, like I said, Alan said, "Here's what I want. I want a bad wig. I want. I want a. Um, I want bad. Looks like I had bad plastic surgery. You know, fake teeth. You know." He goes, "I know exactly what I, I want to be. The douchiest guy ever. You know." And, and it's so fun. So, and then even the smaller parts, like I, my cast, I'm so proud of my cast. And, and they know me and they know that I gave them freedom to come up with great things. And uh, they, they exceeded, ev literally every day exceeded my expectations. Everything was better than I, it looked better. The acting was better. The rhythm was better. Like I never could have imagined that it would be better than I had hoped. The entire thing was. And so, you know, at the end you go, you know, why is it this good? But I think it also had to do with the same idea that Wes and Rob did well. 